It's Thursday, December 8, 2016, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of Local News. Welcome! In the news, university students discussed gender equality and stop violence against women. Lalaruk Hindustani Museum wants to expand. Kenya Panza is officially the new district commissioner of Lukupundo. Stress training for staff of the SDBS. I'm Susan Maynard and your local news begins now. <laughs> Students from the Anton de Kom University came together yesterday again to discuss gender equality and stop violence against women. This in the context of the 16 days of activism. The purpose to hold the discussion morning with the university was to help fight violence against women through education, says Ferushka Giawen, domestic violence ambassador of the Anton de Kom University. For the event, students from various disciplines were invited, and at the end of the activity, participants should see the need of the fight against violence better. The Lalaruk Museum wants to expand and extend its stock of artifacts. Six months after the opening, the museum board still looks forward to get old objects from the community. The museum makes another call to the community to make available historical objects that have to do with the Hindustani culture. Hindustani contract laborers on their trip to Suriname brought goods and objects to the country. Clothing and other objects which arrived in Suriname by the Hindustani indentured laborers are copied with, of course, the knowledge from the country of origin. And this piece of history, the leadership of the museum, wants to conserve in consultation with the current owners of the artifacts. The museum is now running pretty good. It was opened on June 5th this year and it attracts more and more visitors. The objects on display now come largely from the society. But even then, the management believes that there are still a lot of objects scattered in Suriname. According to the management, there's much interest in the current stock, but it can always be better. There are many attractive things that tell a story about the history of the Hindustani people in Suriname. Every month there are different teams focusing on the Hindustani history and various components thereof. Next year, more is expected from the educational field in the form of more student projects at the museum. Yesterday, the official transition of the district commissionership to Kenya Pansa for Brukopondo took place. The new district commissioner was festively welcomed by the residents of the district. Pansa's vision is focused on bringing the right changes in the district. Pansa added that she is ready to work on the development of the district. She will work on half yearly and annual plans in collaboration with the local people. She will first work on the infrastructure and the sustainable development of the district. The day was festively closed with a church mass and speeches of the chief captain, Henk Finisi, and the caretaker district commissioner of the district, Mike Nerkust. Suriname Television Foundation, STVS, organizes a media training on December 15th. During the training that is provided by mental health services, media workers will learn how to deal with major events during work. Raj Jatnanan Singh is one of the trainers. Stress is a major factor that often occurs in the workplace and often caused by workload. Often the effects of stress are incalculable, says Shinan Danu, clinical and health psychologist. 
It is important that media workers attend the training. Jatnanan Singh adds that media houses should be more critical when they recruit media workers. The training should help media workers to be stress resistant and to better deal with traumatic events. That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Good day.